I got a very interesting question from Malka. Malka is about Tshuva. She became Torah observant. And she's asking a very interesting question. How can she live her life happy, serve Hashem with happiness, when she knows that her family and loved ones are not Torah observant, and when they reach the world to come, they might be punished for their sins, and when Mashiach comes, they might not be with her. So how can she continue serving Hashem and living her life happy knowing that? So the first thing is that we are commanded and obligated by the Torah to serve Hashem with happiness. We must serve Hashem b'simcha v'tuv levav. That's what the Torah commands us to do. The second thing is when a person reaches the level that he has pain over the fact that his family and loved ones are not Torah observant, First of all, I can congratulate Malka because that's a very high level. Most people, they care about themselves and they look only in their own surroundings. To reach to a level when you look at other people and it hurts you that those people are not Torah observant and that they're missing out, basically, that's a very high level. So just from your question, Malka, and this can refer to all the people who are becoming, becoming Torah observant, this is the level one needs to strive to. To get to a point that they look at their fellow Jew, forget about a family member right now, a fellow Jew, and that it will hurt them that that person is not Torah observant. And the answer, what you need to do is very simple. You are obligated to do whatever you can in your power to make them Torah observant. To teach them, to guide them, to show them, to give them example. Even though they're the most, most far away from religion, there's always a way to do it. If they're very anti-religion, all you need to do is just show them how beautiful religion is, how fun it is, how amazing it is, how fulfilling it is. If they are a little bit open to here, you're obligated to teach them, to tell them, to show them, to, 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 to basically open the door to them, even if it takes you a whole lifetime. So by the fact that you feel sorrow or sadness to see your loved ones in that situation, that in itself should be the source of power to let you pursue getting them close to God. Because you are lucky enough that the light of Hashem shined in you, that you suddenly saw the light, what, 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 how it's called, and you became wise enough to come closer to Hashem and become Torah observant. So you're lucky enough to have that in your hands. So you have the obligation to go and teach everybody around you. And so much, more so, so, much, so much more so with your family members, you can show them, it's called, they'll, be more percept, they'll be more open to what you have to say. So your answer is very, very simple. You need to make this your life mission to make your family closer to Hashem by teaching them whatever you can. Even if they're, they're not able or capable to receive too much, just a little bit. Give them a good example, come to their house, Show them how, how, you, how you pray, how you learn. Your job is basically to introduce to them how great Hashem is and how beautiful the Torah is and how amazing it is to be Torah observant. And in your ways and in many different sophisticated ways, you can basically penetrate, because you know them more than anyone, you can penetrate under the lines and show them and, and basically what's called Le Karevot Am Torah to get them closer to the Torah. And everything has to be done, you know, with love and understanding and patience because the Torah teaches us when we look at somebody who's not Torah observant, we have to look at them as a prisoner that is locked in, in, in captivity. And they don't really see what's going out. They're very limited to what they can see. And as you, somebody standing out, you can see both worlds. You can see the secular world and you can see the Torah observing world. So you have the, the, the advantage that you know both worlds and you know how to cautiously proceed and basically teach them and get them closer to Hashem and, you know, on holidays come and show, give them, you know, a present, invite them to, to a Shabbos table or, 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 a, or a holiday, anything that you can do to basically show them and expose to them how beautiful the Torah is and how great it is to be observant. And by you doing that, you are securing that they will have some place in the world to come. And if you do it the right way with patience, 
you are guaranteed by Hashem that your, your work will not be for, for, for nothing. It might take a year, it might take two years, it might take three years, it might take a whole lifetime, but the fact that you did your effort, that would be more than enough. And if you're doing your effort in, in the more sincere way, you'll see that slowly, slowly, the most toughest people will come closer to religion, even if it takes them a whole lifetime. Even if they become a little bit observant, so they might not be fully observant, but even if they become a little bit observant, you did your part. And what needs to make you feel happy is that you're doing the will of Hashem. You might not see your loved one becoming totally religious, but at least what, what needs to give you happiness is that you did your best and that you see that they did something. And with the merit of you are becoming religious and, and elevating yourself to a higher level, they automatically will be merited to that. So, chas v'shalom, if one of them should leave this world and should go higher in, in, in higher worlds, your merits will help them go through it. So, worst case, they'll get a little bit punished for that. And Bezad Hashem and Moshiach come soon. Don't worry, just because the fact that you are close to Hashem, they automatically will be closer to you. So... The main thing I can tell you and instruct you is that you are lucky enough to move to the other side. So now you have the ability and the power and the tools to go and teach them. And that's what should make you happy because you're basically fulfilling what's called Haratzon Elyon, the, the will, the divine will of Hashem. For you to go in, Hashem gave you the schut, gave you the merit, he made you close to him, so you will be the shliach, you will be the emissary, you will be the vessel that goes closer to your family and your loved ones and the rest of the Jews and make them come closer to Hashem. So this applies to anyone, it doesn't have to be your family members, it doesn't have to be just Malka, it can be anyone. A person needs to get to the level that he looks at another Jew, whether it's his family member or whether it's a person he never met in his life, and that person needs to feel pain in his heart to see that person not observant. And when you reach that level, then you have the ability to reach out and to save that person. Because you have, if you see no connection to that person and you have no pain for the fact that that person is far away from Hashem, it's very hard to reach out. But when you know that one of your loved ones is sitting in a house burning in fire, you will run into the fire to save them. So when you reach to a level that you see any Jew and it hurts you that they're not Torah observant, it's like you seeing them in a house burning in fire and you have the ability to run into the house full of fire just to save them. So you can't do that by running and, and screaming at them and, 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 and forcing them to become observant. That will never work. The only way that will work by showing them how amazing Torah observant life is, how amazing the Torah is, how amazing Hashem is, and how great your life is after you made that transformation. And slowly, slowly, when you trickle mitzvahs into their life, you'll see that slowly, slowly, they'll start opening. You cannot convince anyone, you cannot come to a person and, and force him to become religious, to come close to Hashem. The only thing you can do is give an example. And not only give an example, is in a nice kind of a tricky way, make them do mitzvahs. If it's a, it's a, if it's a, uh, if it's a man, you know, ask them to put filling. If it's a woman, you can instruct her why you sh they should light candles. You know, maybe make them make a bracha, say a bracha next to them, they'll answer a man, drag them into a, 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 a shul once. There's so many different ways one can reach another person, and only you know how to reach your family. And that's why Hashem chose you to be the vessel, to be the, the emissary, the shliach that affects your entire family. Because you know what touches them and what's their weak point and they have respect to you and they love you. So it will be much easier for you to come a little bit closer to them. So not only Malka, to anyone who watches the video, you have the obligation A. to serve Hashem with happiness, B. to feel sorrow, to elevate yourself to a level that you feel sorrow that another Jew is far away from religion because you know the truth. And when you reach that level, you can reach out to that person and, 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 and try to get them closer to religion in any, in any way. Teach them something, tell them something, give them a smile, make them understand that Torah life is beautiful. When I was not religious, when I looked at religious people, they looked like lunatics to me. They looked like weird. But if a Torah observant person, if a religious person would approach me at that time with a smile or talk to me in the level of my eyes, I would be like, hey, 
He's a human being. So, okay, so maybe he looks a little bit weird, but he's, he's like me. Because people who are not religious, when they look at religious people, they think they're weird and different and behave different and they believe weird things and they believe in spiritual things. It makes a person distant. But when you connect to a person on their level, they're like, hey, wait a minute, it's, another, it's a person like me. Maybe they dress a little bit different, they behave a little bit different, but it's the same level. So you have a great, great, great opportunity to be the one who actually gets all your loved ones and all the rest of the fellow Jews around you closer to Hashem. And that in itself should make you be happy and continue your life in a happy way because you're actually fulfilling the greatest, greatest uh, 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 task, the, the will of Hashem, for you to go and make other Jews close to the Torah. So I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, please, please feel free to contact me and I'll try to answer whatever I can. Thank you.